What's your name and where are you from? Uh, my name is Brian Mendez and I'm from Los Angeles, born and raised. You look very important, all in black. <laughs> I don't know what made me stop to talk to you and yeah. I appreciate you taking the time out of your busy schedule. Yes, are you on break? Um, yes, I'm on my 15 minute break right now. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay, so we'll hurry up with the interview. So how okay. old are you? Um, I'm 24. Uh, you're born in Los Angeles? Yes, born and raised. Have you ever lived anywhere else? Um, I lived in Pittsburgh for like a month or two. Yeah. What did you think about Pittsburgh? Um, it was cool. Nice experience. Yeah. <laughs> would you want to go back there to... Um, yeah, I would love to go back. Do you love living in Los Angeles? Um, I love... I love living in Los Angeles, but there is um, some things that we need to fix here. Like... Like traffic. It's a bunch of problems in Los Angeles that we need to fix. Um, I'm not really too sure. Like, Give us three main problems, in your personal opinion, about Los Angeles that needs to be fixed? Um, homelessness, um, just like traffic. Like I feel like there's too much um, like buses, like causing traffic. Um, not not just, cars, um, but buses. Yeah, like even like um, like the the street lights, like all that, like the rules, they should change. Like the lights should be running green on like, I don't know. It's just like certain things that I feel like. I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Like you think the lights should be in sync. So th these yeah. lights should be green all the way from like La Cienega to at yeah. least like La Brea or something yeah. for like, you know, 10 or 15 minutes. It yeah. just goes, goes, okay, no, I just agree. Traffic and then um, another thing that needs to be fixed. Um, I don't know, man, just there's a bunch of problems here. Just traffic can, and homeless name, is, yeah, is homelessness. Is I feel like mental illness too is like one of the big things that that takes a big part in homelessness. Did you see that girl around the corner? Yes, I did. dude. Yeah. I tried to talk to her, <laughs> and she has mental. She was beautiful. Yeah, but she has tattoos. I'm not saying they're yeah. you know, but you can tell when they start tattooing like, their face. Um, yeah, mental illness is like a big one that we need to fix because it plays a huge role like in homelessness. Like a lot of the majority of the homelessness have mental issues. So, do you have any kids? I do have kids. How many? I have two. I have a stepdaughter and I have my daughter. She's about to turn one. You're 24 years old and you're yeah. responsible for not only yourself, uh, your wife as well, yes. and then your two kids. Yes. And so do you guys have your own apartment? Or? Uh, yes, so I have my own apartment. What's your rent look like? Um, like 1800 a month. Is yeah. that stressful for you to know that you have to pay 1800 a month to um, pay the bills or are you used to it by now? I'm kind of used to it by now. Um, thanks to my stepdad, he... Um, taught me like um, responsibility at a young age so I've always like managed my money right okay so I haven't really struggled that bad but you know it is kind of like stressful you know having to pay a yeah, huge amount out of your pocket you know every month but I feel bad so, for so you so far it's been good you know I haven't had any issues I feel bad for people who have to pay rent because I, I live in a van I'm homeless oh okay but, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, yeah when I hear yeah. people with the rent I, I mean I'm, if I didn't have kids I probably would have been doing the same thing yeah know? we could be neighbors yeah <laughs> if you I, but I travel though yeah. if you want to travel where are you from Los Angeles Los Angeles yeah but I left oh, back right. in 2000 I've been gone for quite some time I just travel in my van doing vlogs oh, okay. and I think that if you were going to go somewhere else for like six months and you were to come back here you wouldn't want to come back here because it's yeah, just the way actually, it is like i've been to florida i've been to pittsburgh I've been to las vegas okay so you've different. traveled most yeah, people from traveled, la they don't I, travel I, much yeah, and i've been out the country i've been to honduras okay el salvador oh okay so, so you're well traveled yeah um mexico so i've traveled i've seen places and i don't know i just feel like i love la right like it's my home i was born here born and raised um I just lo love coming back, but I feel like we have a lot of issues to fix, clean up the city, you know, like. What was the greatest day or a day in your life that you remember that you were happy? That, a moment that made you happy or a happy day? I think every time I leave out the, leave home and then I come back, you know, I get that, like that feeling, you know, coming back home, it's like, okay. I don't know how to explain it, you know, it's like, uh, you've been gone and then it's like, I don't know, you come back to where you're comfortable, like. What's the worst day in your life or something bad that happened that you're like, uh? I don't know, man. Uh, it's been a lot, but I try not to stay negative. Like, so I don't feel like I've had a bad day to really say that. But yeah, I try to stay positive for most of the part. Last question. What is one thing about yourself that if somebody walking down the street that they seen you that they would never know either about you or that you know how to do or that you're proud of that you do it could be something 
simple, it could be something complex. Mm. Um, nothing, I feel like um, one thing is like being kind and just being like a, a social person. I think some people like, they don't expect that from me. They, they look at me and they feel like, they see me, I'm like a, like a serious guy that won't talk back or something, but it's cool, man. Like, I think that's one thing that people, like I'm social, I guess, it's being social. You're way too mature. I think we got to roughen you up a little bit. You want to join a gang with me? We could start a gang or something like that. Uh, you're too nah. mature. Okay, well, listen, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. All right, man. What's your name? Lamont. Lamont Brian. Yeah, yeah. pleasure right, to meet you, brother. Nice meeting you. All right. All right.